Jimmy Carter, the new first couple walks the last stretch of the parade route. All the while, Bill Clinton is making his exit. There's a trip to Andrews Air Force Base, a send-off with well-wishers and staff. Now, will he leave the stage? So you see that sign there that says, please don't go? I, I left the White House, but I'm still here. <laughs> day for the new president, made even longer by a night full of inaugural balls, Bush is the first to say he's no dancer. In a way, this now becomes George Bush's town, typical of the way Republicans here feel, as Clinton's limo was leaving the Capitol grounds for the very last time, a number of Bush backers smiled, waved, and said, bye, Bill. Live on Capitol Hill, Grant Rampey, back to you. Grant, quite a historical day indeed. Uh, with all the pomp and ceremony, I understand that the new president didn't waste any time getting down to business. That is right. His first act as president, he uh, placed a block on a number of last-minute executive orders done by Bill Clinton that would have affected Medicare and the environment. He wasted no time. I believe he maybe waited one hour. Grant, being at the proceedings today, how difficult was it for Al Gore to watch the inauguration, knowing how close he came to being the president? Mary, that, that's an interesting question. That's something everyone would like to know, no doubt. I, you can only look at his face because he didn't say anything that we heard publicly, but very often, especially in the long walk through the Capitol, if you saw any of that tape earlier today, the man looked glum, silent, but he went through the motions and appeared to be gracefully uh, handing over power the way we're all supposed to do. He held that grace to the very end. Grant, thank you very much for that report.